Hi everyone, this is Kevin Volrath, Churches for Middle East Peace's Manager of Middle East Partnerships. I want to give you a short update on what has been happening in Jerusalem over the past several days as tensions and violence have been escalating between Israelis and Palestinians. U.S. State Department officials Yael Lampert and Hadi Amar are now in the Middle East visiting Jerusalem, Ramallah, Amman, and Cairo in efforts to de-escalate tensions. Secretary Blinken has also had conversations with President Abbas and Minister of Foreign Affairs Yair, Yair Lapid calling for peace. So on Thursday last week, Thursday, April 14th, six, day, six Israelis were arrested for their plan to sacrifice a goat at a holy site Muslims refer to as Haram al Sharif and Jews as the Temple Mount. Now the site of Al Aqsa Mosque, Islam's third holiest site. It shares the location of the historic Jewish temple. The recent attempt to sacrifice an animal at the Haram al-Sharif is just one of the many recent attempts to disrupt the historic status quo. The status quo is a collection of laws, rules, and historic traditions dating back to the 18th century that has governed holy sites' ownership and management in uh, the Jerusalem area, which assures that people from all faiths have access to their holy sites. According to these agreements, Jewish people are allowed to visit Haram al-Sharif compound, but not to pray there, much less to resume animal sacrifices. Many Palestinians were outraged by this attempt. Hamas called on Palestinians to mobilize in mass at Al-Aqsa for prayers, in particular on Friday the 15th. Early that morning, some Palestinians threw stones at the Western Wall. Israeli Defense Forces raided the mosque and its compound, violating the status quo and using excessive force, injuring roughly 150 worshippers and arresting over 400. Stone throwing and police violence resumed on Sunday, injuring at least 20 more people. On Monday the 18th, rockets were fired out of Gaza toward Israel. In response, Israeli Air Force destroyed a Hamas weapons depot, claiming Hamas was responsible for all rocket fire from Gaza, though it remains unclear if Hamas or Islamic Jihad or another independent party launched the rocket. Please join CMEP in calling for renewed support for the status quo related to holy sites and for all actors to refrain from violence. Thank you.